We got bees. We got bees. Did I mention we just got bees? So you heard it here, we just got bees. But that's not 100% true. I just ordered bees, but I'm pretty excited. I feel like I already have them. We are gonna get bees probably at the end of March is when the pickup is. I've already ordered them, so I shouldn't say probably. At the end of March, we are getting bees at Whistle Thicket, so I'm super excited. We have a lot of fun stuff going on this spring. We just got quail. We've had our first quail eggs the last couple weeks. I made a video. I'll link it here maybe. So we've had a lot of fun stuff happening. It is still winter time, but tomorrow or Sunday is supposed to be 60 degrees and raining. So that's going to be a nice February, but of course it's raining the whole day. It's been a cold winter here for North Carolina in the teens, single digits, negatives a little bit probably the coldest winter we've had in a long time but spring is right around the corner I have a greenhouse I need to set up I got my starter plants I need to get going I know Amy has a lot of horse stuff to do so we are gonna be busy this spring but we like being busy we like homesteading that's what we like to do we like to have fun but back to the bees back to the bees I'm getting bees in the spring and like I said, I'm super excited. It's been a homestead dream. Luckily, I have a good friend that's been a bee man for years. He's had bees, I think, for 15 or 20 years. It's, it's a business. It's a side business. Um, he sells to the donut shop in, in the area, to a coffee shop, to an Amish store. He sells to friends. So he's making a side income, at the very least, selling his bees honey and the honey um, products, the bee products. So I'm thankful that I have a bee mentor that's gonna teach me the basics. I feel like with beekeeping, it is a skill that, yes, you can learn on your own, but it's great to have friends that are going to show you the basics. There's lots of beekeeping clubs. So if you're interested in being a beekeeper, there's probably a club in your area, even if you live in the city. Um, so I am so happy that I have a bee mentor that's gonna show me the ropes, hopefully. Um, so stay tuned for that. I bought um, some basic beehives earlier, um, about three months ago. Uh, I think I made a video, I'll link it if I did. Well, I know I did. Um, I found some beehives um, at a flea market, um, some starter hives. So I bought them for 10 bucks each. I still need to buy some more stuff for the hives. Um, I think I'm only gonna start with one hive this year. I might do two. Um, my bee mentor has told me it is good to start with two if you can afford it so that you can see any major differences because if something goes wrong in one hive if you've never um, had a beehive before you may not recognize that your hive is suffering but if you have two hives and one is healthy and a problem emerges in the second then you have something to compare it to so if I can afford it I'm gonna have two hives this year but I have one at least I do want to give a shout out to my mom actually this Christmas she gave me an awesome gift most of the time I get socks underwear and pajamas but this year she got me something really awesome so I just want to give a shout out to my mom thank you mom love you and I want to show everybody what she got me so let me show you that's right she got me a beekeeper suit whoop, whoop. How awesome is that? Best Christmas gift ever. Mom, thank you again. This is gonna be very helpful. I know I look like a goober, but most people do in these things. But I have a beekeeping suit, so I look serious. I'm ready to go. Now I know again, a lot of beekeepers when they get experience, they don't wear the full suit. And um, that's okay. I'm gonna start to wear it because I'm learning how to do it. I almost forgot probably the most important part of the bee suit that she got me. So let me show you. Got the gloves, baby. So I know a lot of beekeepers aren't using all this gear. Some people don't wear anything. Some people just wear the mask, the helmet. But hey, I'm getting started and I'm going to start where I need to. And probably over time I won't wear this whole suit unless my bee man tells me to 
and then I will. I'm super excited. In less than two months, we're going to have bees on the homestead. It's going to be another great adventure at Whistle Thicket. So thanks for joining us. If you've never raised bees, guess what? I haven't either. So I'm going to be learning. I will teach my mistakes. I'm never going to say oh, I'm a bee expert, at least not uh, my first year. So like maybe if I'm doing this in 10 years, I'll say that. But I am going to be learning hands-on beekeeping. I'm sure I'm going to make mistakes, but that's what homesteading is about, learning and growing. So thanks for paying attention. Hopefully you're still watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to your channel. We really appreciate the support from our old subscribers or new subscribers. Almost at a thousand subs, and that's pretty cool. So we'll see you soon. I almost forgot. If you want to know how I did the changing clothes special effects I have no idea if I did it right or if it's gonna turn out when I edit it but there's this awesome guy on YouTube named Peter McKinnon he has millions of subscribers I don't know why I'm telling you about him but I didn't know about him until last week and he has some great videos that helps people make their videos better and I decided to do one of his special effects which was the change the clothes changing special effect so check out his link below he has millions of subscribers, but hey, I didn't learn about him till last week. So there's almost 8 billion people on earth. So there's a lot of people that aren't subscribed to him. So check him out.